This is Karen Clark in the studio. I have a very, very special guest today, Mr. John Hinton. Mm -hmm. Now, do people just scream out Overton on the street? Like, how? Do, what? What happens when you're just walking down the street? When you're, when you're <laughs> in the mall? People what? call me Obi. Oh, do people they? People call me Obi. Uh, or actually, they some a lot of times they'll say my whole name, Overton oh. Wakefield Jones. Oh, you know, really? Like, which is which is scary <laughs> when they know your middle name. You know, it's like nobody knows John. Nope. Hinton. That's like, you Those know, are the real Overton, fans. And they know exactly. Uh, People, it's amazing. And and the thing is, that, that people always ask me, does that bother you? I'm like, no. It's like after all these years, people recognize you. That, that's a great feeling. I mean, you know? this it was an iconic show. Well, Living Single was like one of those shows where you set the appointment. I got no nah, Living Single's coming on. I got to watch Living Single. Thanks. You know, stop yeah. calling me during Living Single. Yeah. So it I was mean, it was one of those shows. So of course people recognize you. And it's it's such a blessing to be involved in that. And people. People remember that um, it was like because uh, we had a power hour on Fox. Mm -hmm. It was like Martin. Mm -hmm. It used to be uh, Living Color. It used to be us. Mm -hmm. It used to be Martin Living Single and uh, New York Undercover. Right. We had our own it night. Was it. We it, it was Black Folk Night. That's right. That's our night. That was so, a yeah. different kind of must see TV. Yeah, that, that was the first. That's the original. The original must see, must -see yeah, TV. We, we put them on the map. Yeah. Wow. So. Well, I'm so excited that you're here uh, in in Raleigh. You are performing at the Raleigh Improv. Yes. I just want to understand this living single thing. I mean, did Friends jack y'all for real? And when Friends came out, did, were you all automatically like, that's our show, but without black people? Well, what happened was uh, we started a year before Friends, mm -hmm. by the by. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, so we came out, we had this hot show. Mm -hmm. And um, here's, here's the deal. Um, the first year, um, after after we did the pilot, mm -hmm. um, there was a big party at this. Uh, the guy Les Moonves, he was the yes. president of Warner Brothers at the time, and he was uh, at CBS. And then some other stuff happened. We ain't gonna talk things, about. Some things, some things, some things happened. <laughs> anyway, we were at a party. Les Moonves was president of Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. and he had all these executives in, and the whole cast of Living Single. We were there, and a lot of other shows that got picked up. And uh, Warren Littlefield, who was the president of NBC, he came up to me. Um, and we, we were standing and talking with, with Les, and he came up and he said, I blew it, because if I could have this pilot season over, I would take Living Sink. Wow. Les Moonves was there, uh -huh. and his ears perked up. And then after that, Les Moonves would, would come to our set every every taping and he was like he wasn't in the control booth he was right on the scene looking at the audience the whole thing right and then the next year mm. the next year les moves had this brilliant idea mm -hmm. about six uh folks in new york city uh -huh. you know and they called it friends and wow. uh, so they took our show then they moved us from sunday night to thursday night mm -hmm. so we went up, up against, against friends so guess what so the, the black folks can watch their show mm -hmm. and uh, yeah wow. so there you go so that's what that's happened. that's what happened so, so that we was were friends before for, matter of fact I, <laughs> here's the thing let's move as we uh the original title for the show mm -hmm. was called my girls mm -hmm. and then uh, macaulay calkin had a movie so we couldn't do that right so we had to change the name and everybody was thinking of different names we could do let's move as his idea for our show was called friends and we said no nah. i said no nah, i don't like that I don't like that. We got something else. I, I forgot. We're on Facebook Live right now. Facebook.com. Oh, really? oh, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh, I, 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 I would have said all that had I known I was on. On Facebook Live now? Where? Oh, where? Where? Yeah. Oh, we're the on, jig is up. Well, right, the, right. the jig is up. Well, I stand knows. by my statement because I was there. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. You could have told me at first, though. Maybe I wouldn't have been so, so open. Well, listen, we want <laughs> you to be open and honest here. I'm just looking at Facebook. Like, now we know. Because you see this stuff yeah. on Twitter and things and Instagram, and people are like, well, you know. Living Single came out first, and yeah. then Friends, and but then you hear your story. Yeah. Les Moonves was on the set. He was on the set. I, I remember. I remember. I was talking to TC, and I was like, "Man, this show is going to be a hit, man. That's the president of Warner Brothers. He's on the set checking us out. They really going to do stuff with that." I didn't know that he had his own little plan, mm. but you know, that's, and and thing. And people ask, "Does it bother you?" It doesn't bother me, but I just wish we had got credit because they, they they say Friends is such you know this iconic show and all that. And I was like, "Well, you know, it kind of." kind of took off of us, you know, because uh, like, you know, you give credit, like the Honeymooners, the Flintstones became right. the Honeymooners, but you get, you knew at least where it came from, but they did this thing to try to bury it. Well, you know? I feel like black folks always give credit because we recognize, it's just that 
the credit isn't always mainstream, right? Yeah. So it's like, oh, Elvis Presley. Well, we knew where Elvis came from. Right. We knew where Ev- Elvis's style came from. Right. Absolutely. But it wasn't like that wasn't put out into the mainstream going, hey, y'all, he got this from this person. He got no. this from, you know. Yeah. Wow. So that, that was it. That, that, that's the story. But I'm, I'm not bitter or anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And the look, <laughs> which is no. why you need to be on Facebook Live. Facebook Live, right so y'all, y'all can see the look. The and, look. Uh, but I'm, I'm not better. I'm, I'm a happy individual, and uh, I'm just glad that the show stands up. That's that's the best part about it. People come to me and say, I was just watching y'all today, you know, because they, they run those uh, marathons. I think we're right. on TV one or something. Yes. And they still run the marathons, and people say, I'm just watching you today. And just the fact that the comedy that we did, um, all those years ago, it still stands, stands up. up. So yeah. that's the best part about it. Well, so it was I'm a good. great show. And I'm not bitter. I can't stress that enough, Karen. I'm not. I'm not. I appreciate Facebook it. Live and everybody. Facebook Chief. Live Look is at not. Me. This is not a bitter face. This is a happy, happy face. That's a happy face. Happy face. Well, listen, look, my mama would say things are the way they are supposed to be. Yeah. You know, or, so, or something like that. Or it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, that's what you know. It ain't right, but it's okay. Yeah, man. We just keep it moving. We keep it moving. Well, listen. The positive thing is that you're here with us. Yes. We're glad to see you. You're at Raleigh Improv. Saying while you're here, is there any other tea you want to spill? Anything else we need to know? Any behind the scenes stuff that went on? That oh, you there was sh- a lot of stuff. I had a tour de fair with a. a, a, a oh, 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 we on Facebook what? Live. Oh, okay. Well, it's, look, not, listen. Okay. That ain't nothing. This is our business. Facebook family. Yeah, I, I know. Hey, family. We we gonna, we gonna keep it within the family. It's okay. You can share with us. Yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah. Sure? Come to the show. I tell you what. I I I love. I I serve. <laughs> A few little tidbits from the show um, at, at my comedy show. That's that's the thing. I want to do it on the radio. Too many too many people listening. I like to do it. You know, it's just a few hundred people at a time. Well, you know, we are the number one station in the market, so they're right. So you know, I, I want to spill all the be- all the beans. No, no. Right. <laughs> well, we will see business. you. We will see you this weekend. What else have, have you been up to now? You live in Ohio, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm back home in Cleveland. Now. You're a Cleveland yeah. guy. Yeah. So. I'm uh, just looking forward to the Browns. I, I know you're a big football fan. We were talking about this. <clears throat> I know I know you're a big football fan. And, Look, uh, holler at me when basketball season starts. I'm well, all you know, about some basketball. And yeah, you're about football, too. And uh, you know it. So we got the Browns in Cleveland. Looking forward to that. I just see, like cooking see, for football. Basketball lessons. left Cleveland. LeBron went to LA, yeah. so we lost. Our, so I'm not really worried about that. Now, are you a LeBron fan? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he did a lot for the league. He did a lot for the city. Mm-hmm. I mean, he completely changed the city. And we got one championship because we hadn't won anything in years. So I was, uh, I got no problem with the problem. Now, no. do you have any uh, any uh, TV or movie appearances coming up that we need to be looking out for? Uh, nothing on TV. Um, uh, this, this is a one-day shoot of a movie uh, that I'm down. It's, it's nothing worth mentioning now, but I'm still hustling. <laughs> I'm Let still, me tell you. Let me tell you, let me get in a movie. I'm well, telling everybody. One day, until it happens. I don't Look, care. I've done some movies and been cut out of them before, so I don't get I don't, don't get, get excited. excited about stuff until I see myself. Until I go to the movie, I got popcorn and I can see myself. Okay. Because I went to I look. I've been hurt before. Okay? I understand. I went there. They cut my scene out. I was salty, and it was a good scene. I did some improv, mm-hmm. and you know they said, "Oh yeah, we got to put this in." Well, it ends up on the cutting room floor, and so. I wait, you know, when it when it's out, then I I see it, then I come from over. Okay, then you'll tell us about it. Yeah, I'll tell you about it then. You like you I'm know. not mentioning it now. Yeah, not, 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 not when they can cut, cut me out because look, like I said, I've been hurt before. I understand. There you go. We all have. I'm sensitive. I, I <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by, John Hinton. He is at the Raleigh Improv. Oh, I'm also, so glad to meet you. Uh, shout out to uh, our online editor Victoria, who I said I was not going to embarrass. Right. This time. Oh yeah. But she's, she's, I can't let an opportunity go by us with Facebook live on and everything yes, yes. she was super excited she's got pictures she's got to show you oh, on, that, from her Facebook awesome um, yeah, but Victoria it, do you want to get on on the air and talk about it now yes, yes. it's Come amazing on. how yeah. red she can turn <laughs> no like do you see how red her face is She's she such is. a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. We're not going to embarrass her. You know, no. We're just happy yeah. for all the work that you did. And, um, you know. Thank you. So we really oh, appreciate you. No, I appreciate you. No, 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 no I appreciate, appreciate you, you more. <laughs> she's, more. She's going to beat me up. Because <laughs> yeah, you set her up. I you know, did. That I was did. wrong. You it's, said you weren't going to do I it, did. and then you did it anyway. Well, I'm a liar. Yeah. John Hinton's <laughs> Raleigh Improv. Oh. Thank you for stopping by. We're Foxy 107.1 and 104.3. Oh, just set my girl up. I did. It's what I, listen, this is is what you did.